Hey guys, subscribe for daily knife content. And if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got uh, another short little uh, unboxing or really just revealing, unzipping of a pouch rather. <laughs> um, there was a box sent to me that had two items in it and one item was unrelated to this video. So I pulled the pouch out but I have not opened this yet but I do know what's in here. I know you know I, I was expecting it. Um, so we're going to take a look together. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. You can find a link for my Patreon right down in the description and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. <laughs> so this was sent by Arcane Design, and this is a model that uh, is in pre-order right now. Um, so I will link the pre-order link right down below in the description so you guys can go check it out. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I've enjoyed the models that have uh, come from uh, Arcane Design here uh, recently. Both the uh, Antimatter and the Necronaut specifically, I enjoyed both of them. This is the new Crawler. Oh boy, big aggressive worn clip. Okay, so right off the bat, um, I'm gonna test the first time I flipped it. Uh, the flipping on this guy is more comfortable. It, this is the most comfortable flipping action of the three models that I've handled and it's because of this area right here. Um, it's a little less sharp. Here's the thing, all of his designs <coughs> are a tad bit angular and that's to you know, he's got a specific aesthetic he's trying to create. So there's a little bit of compromise there. Um, but yeah, it's the same sort of angular element that we've seen on the other designs, but the flipper tab is a little more comfortable on this guy. So this is M390 and Titanium. These are built by Riot. Uh, like I said, a big, aggressive worn clip. These are very smooth, extremely high quality. These are not cheap knives. And you can use that slot in there to do the reverse flick. That is pretty cool. It looks like those have been knocked down just a bit, which I appreciate. Not quite the fingernail shredder that it would be if they weren't knocked down. So that's pretty cool. Can you? Oh, yeah. Very easily. Okay. So this guy's got some fidget factor elements that were not present on some of the other knives. I just bumped my tail. I don't have a whole lot of room between the table and the top here. Um, apparently, this the design philosophy or the design was based on, it was like a, 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 um, a fantasy alien's claw. Uh, is uh, what I what I understand. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess I can see that. I think there's a few different options for these um, in terms of the blade and the finishes on the blade. And then maybe the, this, I'm going to call this the shield. It's like a pivot collar, but it also kind of looks like a shield. That, that's sort of one of the elements that is always included on, um, on the designs from him. Um, you're always going to see uh, on Arcane Design uh, knives, you're going to see some sort of shield crest around the pivot that offers a contrasting color to the titanium. Uh, this looks great. The black is more... On previous <coughs> models, it's been almost like a tumbled black. This is like a true... Like the whole... All of the titanium is DLC. Like a consistent, smooth DLC. I'm trying to get my exposure set so you guys can see that. But yeah, it's very smooth and continuous. It looks like we're looking at, I'm going to find out what the screws are here real quick. Um, I'm kind of, I'm hoping that they're T8, but I honestly can't tell for whatever reason on this knife, I'm having trouble. Are they T8? Yay, they're T8. Okay, fantastic. So T8 on both sides and then the pivot is also T8. Wonderful. Very smooth. This feels like one that will ach absolutely achieve false shut action. This is obviously very, very new. Um, but this feels like something that will obviously achieve completely false shut action down the road. Um, you can go pre-order these right now, like I said, in a few different variations. They also have an option for a Damasteel blade. Uh, standard um, blade steel is going to be M390. Um, this is a very aggressive Warncliffe, but It'll work, you know, for your draw cuts, things like that. Behind the edge, eh, I mean, it's not, I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys it's thin behind the edge. We've got a pretty thick blade stock here, um, and then a flat that's just above the middle. Um, and then from here down, you know, it doesn't have a lot of room to drop to the edge, but is it sharp? Will it get the job done? Yeah, absolutely. It's just not going to be a freaking open L, you know, but that's not even what he was trying to design. Um, I just like the addition of the thumb slot. Uh, I think that's my favorite part so far. 
Um, ergonomics is pretty good. You have this area right here where yeah, you're kind of squishing two fingers in there, right? I can feel the pocket clip. Um, there's some other spots initially. You know, you can feel some of the edges right here, the angular edges. Nothing sharp. It's just the general angular nature of this is what you're going to feel. But, uh, yeah, pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to tell you guys, though, you know, it's, it's like Hotspot City or anything like that. Designs like this are definitely going to have um, some more... Well, some more angular feeling ergonomics, but it's pretty good the way that it is. I think the, the best part about this is just the striking aesthetic. I mean, that's obviously the goal with his designs is to create a very interesting and very unique aesthetic. And he has managed to do that thrice now uh, between this, the crawler, the necronaut, and the antimatter. Very, very cool. I like this sort of gold color, I guess, is what we're looking at there. I'm going to guess that that is titanium, and it's been anodized, that color. Axe is one of the over-travel stops, and then I imagine it's also lipped, the steel lock bar insert, which is absolutely present. Can we see that? Steel lock bar insert in there. It's probably lipped, and Axe is another over-travel stop, which is great. All right, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else I need to say. If you're interested in checking out the pre-order link for this guy, I will link it right down in the description. Um, I think he also has the um, <coughs> antimatter dagger available on the website, if I am not mistaken. So anyways, check out the link, see what he's got going on. Um, really nice guy, and I've enjoyed the other models that have come to the channel. And these cases are sweet. These are awesome. I mean, it's not like you're taking the case with you. You're not going to do any work with a case, but... It's nice to get an interesting case with, you know, knives like this that cost a lot of money. Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for my first impressions. Uh, here in two to three weeks, you'll get a full comprehensive review of this guy. Um, 20 minutes, roughly. Um, so if you want to uh, look forward to that, that'll be coming to the channel soon. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. They're either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.